Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Sade. If you do not already follow me, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Today, I'm going to be doing another thrift haul with you guys. But in case you're new here to the channel, I just want to give a little quick recap of who I am and what it is that I do. I specialize in make you look fly on a dime without breaking the bank. I offer styling services no matter your budget, the occasion. If you are interested in a makeover or a style box where I pick pieces out specifically curated for you and your personal style hit me up i love collecting statement pieces that are going to make you stand out and i enjoy thrift things if you want to learn how to thrift watch these videos on my instagram twiggy and chic on the first and third sunday of every month i also host an instagram live where i am selling wonderful wonderful pieces that i have sourced well, make sure to check those out as well turn on your notifications for that on instagram so you do not miss a sale good morning everyone it is a beautiful day to go thrifting realistically it's 32 degrees and it's freezing um i typically hibernate in the winter time um, but the sun is shining and one of my good friends invited me to go thrifting today so that is what we are heading to do he's meeting me there um you know i had to start off the morning with a smoothie um so let me show you guys what is inside of it so today's smoothie consists of blueberries well actually i'll just say mixed berries kale spinach flax seeds almond milk of course and a banana um i was gonna add chia seeds um and peanut butter but i actually had a bagel right before eating this so i don't want to be too too full and i don't want to have to use the bathroom if you know what I mean with it being COVID and all um yeah and it's one at a time like you have on layers and you don't know if stuff is properly cleaned or not and the thrift store is like the last place you want to have to use the number two ad so um yeah hopefully this smoothie will keep me full because we do plan on going to about two to three thrift stores so i will um check back in with you all later all right we're here at the first location second ave I always love their little like cute display station when you first walk in. It's always color coordinated. I am not a color coordinated person. I kind of just go off of a whim, but I'm looking for some home decor items. Um, hubby says I can't bring home any more mirrors, so I need some kitchen organization stuff so let's see what we'll find y'all know i love my coffee and teas look how cute this is so freaking cute a little bit on the pricey side too but so freaking cute Beautiful. This coat is. Y'all know my 
these coats. I specifically bought cash today so I can make sure that I stay on budget. So, so far, I only have like two things in my cart for myself personally, the rest are just self. I have a thousand furs, I don't need another one. I guess the issue now is that because I thrift so frequently, I'm not really finding anything new that catches my eye, even though I've gone to a different location today. This is actually kind of cute. So currently I am on my way to the second location. Um, I pretty much stayed on budget. Today was definitely a budget trip. Um, my budget was $60. I spent $54. I was hoping for a little less, but I ended up finding a fur jacket or faux fur jacket, I should say. And those will instantly be like 15 on up, just depending on um, like how trendy they are. So I think that was like $20. So that's where most of my um, money went to. I can't wait to show you guys what I got from the first place. I didn't find any jewelry. But I did find accessories and I always love finding accessories at the thrift. I also found some home decor stuff. So um, yeah, stay tuned. We're on our way to the second spot. I've actually never been to this spot before. It's called Thrifties and I always see it because it's along the way to the main thrift store that I always go to. But I just always end up spending pretty much like four hours in the first spot that I'm just like so overwhelmed and like tired and I feel like dirty that I'm just like ready to go and I don't ever have time to stop so this shall be exciting the rifties military discount what's today's color green Yellow, dance break. So, so far this place has pretty good um, coat selection. I found this leather print for beauty and look at the back. Like that is a big freaking deal. Like the hood on this, oh, very statement-esque. This is a whole freaking fur trench. Camuto, like hardly worn, and that says $9.99. Plus, look at these, they're not my style, but they're pretty nice. This is my basket so far. Most of these are actually for clients. Let me show you some of the items that I have. The distressed motorcycle jacket, a fur coat, a leopard, and then we have this hound's tooth jacket. This is all for a client, and I'll show you my goodies a little bit later. How gorgeous would this be to put jewelry in? And it's only 
seven dollars. I think it's made out of real, like seashells. I thought that'd be easier to do than what. Well, I am officially done and I officially went over budget at the second place. I mean, I was pretty much close to done with my budget when I was at the last place. I probably had like $5 to spare <laughs> and then I just spent $60 here at the second location. So needless to say, your girl is done for a month a month without shopping let's see if i can if i can do that but i did get a lot of goodies so i will let you guys see them once i get home and actually it doesn't even i don't even know how my total came to like 60 something dollars because i only got maybe like six items but i did get a jacket and jackets jackets are always going to be like 20 dollars and up so i think that's what majority of my costs went to and then who knows whatever else i got but i'll show you guys later when i get in you know spring is quickly approaching or it may already be here depending on when this video actually gets uploaded some of the pieces that i have sourced today for this video is going to be like an intro to spring so i have some transitional pieces because depending on where you live at um, it may not be all the way warm yet I live on the East Coast, so it fluctuates. Yesterday was literally like mid 60s and today it's already 30 degrees again. So yeah. And without further ado, let's get into it. First item I'm gonna show you is this pleated skirt. What I love about it is it's not your traditional kilted skirt. Okay, it's kind of giving me Parisian art teacher vibes, but I love the fringe that it has on the edge. And I love that it, it buttons instead of zips. So the way I styled mine is I kind of just put a brooch to fasten it. That way I can have my thigh exposed. And I love the color palette on this. Your traditional like black or white or the red. I love that this has, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's purple, blue, and some yellow. And it is made of wool, so it is um, semi-thick. So this is good for winter, fall, or spring. This skirt, of course, I think I already removed the tag because I was so desperate to wear this out before filming this video. But I believe I got this for like five dollars. Yes, five dollars. Since having my beautiful daughter Rain, I literally went from a size like one, two to now like a four because I've been working out like crazy five days a week since having her. I want to say that my legs or my thighs have produce a little bit more muscle than before as well. Needless to say, my favorite, favorite, favorite vintage denim jeans that were Parisuco, by the way, if you were born in the 90s, then you know what Parisucos are, the original skinny jeans. Oh my God, I wore those with like literally anything and it just instantly transformed your outfit to looking so chic. But since having her, I can't even fit them over my thighs anymore. Like they literally won't go up past my knees. So unfortunately, I had to give them to donation. There was like no way in God's hell that I was ever going to lose the little bit of 
muscle or leg fat that I have and I'm already petite. So I have been on the hunt for the perfect pair of jeans to replace that. I've bought like maybe two or three pairs of jeans since they're starting to close you can no longer try on stuff so i've had to just buy stuff and you know see if the fit is what i like and someone had recommended specific brands of vintage jeans will give me the fit that i'm looking for i tried levi's 501s and 505s but they weren't as tapered as my original cut oh shoot these aren't even it these are wrangler okay these fit these fit more like a mom boyfriend jean style so i don't even know why i'm showing you this because these aren't it and i'm back <laughs> so i didn't realize that that was the pair of jeans at one of the three that i bought which i didn't really like the cut too much these are my new loves and yes they were $2.99 so I was so freaking impressed about the price also let's get into the details of this wash it's like the perfect vintage acid wash without it being too 80s they're made by the gap and they are so perfectly Paper. I can roll up the ends of it. It doesn't look too flattering on my butt, but you know what? That's okay. I, I know what my butt looks like at the end of the day. It's a Hillary Banks inspired top. It also reminds me of like Star Trek vibes as well because of the like aerodynamics of the black accents here um but i love that it's short sleeve i love the color I mentioned in my last video like i just can't commit to certain colors so i rather buy it as like an accessory like a shoe or a purse or a hat and incorporate the color that way but this top was too nice to pass up so i'm still pondering on how she's gonna get styled um, I'll probably just go to Pinterest. I don't know. You guys can like leave some suggestions of how you would style it. It's $6.99. I believe it may have been half off. Probably not. But I love how form fitting it is to my body. So it's not oversized at all. I don't have to cinch it with the belt. Um, I could add one just for, um, you know, the aesthetics. Finally found some leather leggings or joggers i had a really cool pair last winter but they were cheaply made so they were like faux leather and literally after wearing them like all season they started chafing and cracking everywhere leaving little droplets behind every time i like got up from my seat so i just throw them away hopefully these will last me we'll see we shall see how long they last now, these pants are good um for year round love this fringing detail on them they also have like a um like a floral or paisley print on it not sure if you can really see that detail or not there you go they're like slightly wide legged as well they're not as long as i would have liked them to be but i feel like these would still be nice to wear um on vacation or with like a silk or satin blouse and kind of just like tie it so it's cropped and maybe add like a spring or summer hat with it or even dress it down with a oversized t-shirt or something i don't know i'll play around with it but i just i really love the detailing on it these were 4.99 okay so this i thought was pretty cool you know like in the early mornings late evenings when um it's not hot yet it's still like a little cool this would be really nice to just throw on with uh maybe some biker shorts or some leggings not really sure if i'm going to bleach it yet to give it like that acid wash look fringe it up a little bit give like a yeezy look 
and I actually got this out of the men's section like I really love shopping the men's department but I haven't been doing it as frequently as I should with me sourcing stuff for reselling sometimes I'm just like so in and out and limited with time and it has like um not felt but um I don't know that thick cozy material <laughs> I sound so illiterate right now. It has that thick cozy material on the inside. So it'll definitely keep me super warm while I don't have to do a whole bunch of layering. And this was uh, $6.99, but I believe it was half off. Yeah, like some, some days with being a mom now, like I want to just throw on something but still look comfy, cute, casual. So I really, really love that. And speaking of comfy, casual, I definitely wanted some nude sneakers. I have been looking for a pair that I wanted for quite some time. These kind of just fell into my lap. I saw these in the um, like display box that they sometimes keep the more expensive items at. And I was like, okay, I'll come back to it on my way out. I saw that they were marked as $44.99. So I was like, oh, do I really want to spend $44? Maybe it'll be the color of the day and it's like half off or something. On my way out, I asked the sales clerk if I could see them, try them on, make sure that they fit. I was actually hoping that they wouldn't fit because I didn't want to spend $44 like do y'all do that sometimes like you see something and you're just like oh I hope it doesn't fit or I hope it's too expensive and out of my price range so I don't buy it that was totally me that's literally me like all the time but I always get deals even when I don't want to shop so try them on of course they fit and the price actually was 24. I even played like a little game on my Instagram where I asked my viewers to guess the price of how much I paid. Obviously, I just told you guys, but whoever can guess the closest to what I paid, I bought them a coffee of their choice. So that was fun. They're so comfy, by the way. $24 as opposed to like 180 to 200, which is what they cost um, retail. That was a no-brainer. Speaking of shoes, y'all. Can we, can we just have a moment of silence for these? These are rain boots. And not only are they just rain boots, they're pink rain boots. And not only are they just pink rain boots with a dope ass zipper on them, but they also have a heel. And to top it off, they are Vintage 9 West. So pretty durable brand. And to top it all off, as if everything else that I already mentioned wasn't enough, they were only $4, y'all. Like, these shoes I spotted as soon as I walked into the thrift store. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just grab them. They're probably not even my size. Of course they were my size. Of course they were $4. Like, of course they fit. So I couldn't pass these up. These are the perfect spring shoe. I'm not a huge pink fan, but these will literally go with anything. This coat is another item that I was not intentionally looking for. I mean, yes, I've been looking for the perfect, like, pea trench coat um when winter was here but because spring is approaching i kind of was just like over it i found a green one which is pretty durable and heavy but i was looking for a, a lighter colored one and i saw this and i was like oh my god this is super cute again i hope it doesn't fit i hope it's too expensive so i don't have to get it tried it on of course it fit of course it was on sale 
So I got it. I tried to get a discount because it had like a small defect. It has like this little hole. So quick side note, like if you guys see any type of like minor flaw or defect on an item that you thrift, let the sales associate know and most of the time they'll give you like 10% off. So I tried that and they claimed that it was already marked as damaged. Okay, whatever, I'll spend $10. Got home and looked at it, didn't even realize, y'all, hello, 100% cashmere, your girl hit the jackpot, and I can't really tell what color it's showing up on um, camera right now, but it's this really soft, like, baby yellow, so I was so pressed, shop winter pieces, in the spring the thrift stores are just trying to get rid of inventory to get ready for new inventory for that upcoming season so a lot of your furs your pea coats you're gonna be heavily heavily reduced i felt like if i would have saw this in the middle of winter season for sure it would have been twenty dollars on up and you already know how i feel about spending that much at the thrift store i'm cheap y'all um apples because spring is coming up and i wanted to like make my home more springish i'll show you guys the display later if you're interested and if you're not i'm sorry last but not least i would say that the last item i just showed you was my favorite but this is my favorite it was only marked as twenty dollars i spotted this on the way out of the thrift store i didn't really have a lot of time to browse thoroughly and so when you are in that type of vibe instead of going through every single rack and getting yourself overwhelmed try to only go to specific clothing racks if you're looking for a jacket only go to the jacket section if you're looking for you know a blouse or a dress only go to those specific sections based off of what you're looking for but also look for colors or textures or prints that you like when you're looking through the rack therefore you don't have to go through every single item i like i'm such a hypocrite i know I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I'm not big into orange and yellow, but how can you pass up an orange fur coat? Please answer that for me. And it's like bomber style. Come on. Like the thrift gods was seriously looking out for me Again, on this, this thrift trip. At but the end of the winter season, I happen to notice it had a couple of tears in it luckily I know how to sew so I was just like you know I'll just get it it's not like that big of a deal I mentioned at the register I showed them the hole they marked it to ten dollars yes I got this jacket for $10 and if that's not enough for you once I got home and I really tried it on and inspected it I realized, y'all, watch. I can't see. A hundred percent rabbit fur. I know Easter's coming up. I'm sorry, rabbit, but it's vintage. It's not like it's new, rabbit these online because i i have a purple rabbit jacket just like this i probably paid like 30 40 bucks for it so to get this orange rabbit fur for ten dollars oh that is a hundred thousand percent a no brainer i had to show you guys these press on nails that were sent to me by
she talks all things nails press on nails specifically where to source them from because as you know with covid a lot of places are closed um where a lot of people just don't feel comfortable with going into nail salons so, or if you're a person like me who's low maintenance you're on the go you don't have time to go get your nails done so if that is you then this girl will definitely be so much insight on to press on nails she sent me this kit by kiss which is available at like most um local drugstores and pharmacies um including like walmart target i love this color i'm more of like a neutral person so this is perfect i love that it's been updated heavily since what two years ago when i tried on press on nails it comes with this number kit okay so you can easily identify the nail that fits yours and it gives you two options. You have your, you know, the little nail glue that they normally give you, but now they give you these little sticky tabs, which are super, super convenient for when you don't really want to commit to gluing your nails on or if you just have thin brittle nails just put on your nail you peel off the top strip and then you apply your nail and she breaks down everything in here who she is why she loves press on nails finding the right press on nails for you and she also has a cute little playlist that you can listen to while you're pampering yourself from home and as i mentioned i'm so loop looper Ugh. i'm so super low maintenance so i don't really wear a whole lot of makeup um lipstick is enough for me i really don't get my nails done because i rather spend that 20 30 dollars on thrifting <laughs> and i guess the like major reason is my um my job so i'm a dental hygienist so we can't even wear long nails our nails have to be um super short so you don't get like you know germs and bacteria accumulating under your nail bed but since covid i haven't gone back to work because i was pregnant and now that i have my baby and it's still covid i haven't gone back so this is nice that i get to experiment um you know having long nails so definitely definitely check her out thanks lot. i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i love every one of you that have watched it that have subscribed that have liked it that has shared it with someone else and um i will try to be more consistent with shooting more content for you guys because i have like bags of stuff that's waiting to be shot it's just a matter of actually shooting it so thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one